All right, hello there beauties, and you know what time it is. It is time to take these braids down. Now, I don't use any product in my hair when taking down my braids. Well, as of right now, I'm not using any product. But if my hair feels like it's dry, I will usually use conditioner, but my hair is pretty well moisturized, so I'm not gonna use anything. I'm just gonna start taking these braids out from the back to the front. All right, you guys, now it is time to detangle. So starting from the back of my head, I just take a brush and I just start to detangle the hair. Um, simple as that. Once again, I'm not using anything on my hair to detangle because my hair is well moisturized. But if it feels like it's dry, I would of course use either coconut oil or a conditioner to help with the detangling process. Alright, so now my hair is shampooed and conditioned. And now it's time to press my hair. Um, I'm using argan oil to, to use as a pressing oil. Um, and it makes my hair press really nicely. And like I was saying before, or I'm going to say in this video sometime, I have to do a press on my hair. Flat ironing straight does not work for my hair. Um, I need to make sure that the roots and the ends are straight. And um, yeah, there was something else I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, and I am pressing my hair in my kitchen because I do not have an actual stove. I mean, like, you know, for the pressing comb. So I just use my actual stove. Okay, we're going to old fashion this and I use that to press my hair. So, yeah. Okay, and the FYI, um, I have pressed my hair many on many occasions, so I do know how to press hair, um, but if you are learning, I would say go slow, especially if you're doing it on yourself, um, so yeah. to see the process of me um, taking out my braids and um, detangling and washing it and so I decided to go ahead and straighten my hair um, and I showed you guys the technique of me pressing my hair and um, after that what I did was that I added in some hair um, 
I don't quite remember the name of the hair. Oh, I think it was Sapia, Sapia. And I got it for about like, what, $15? And um, this is a 12 inch, the one that I have glue in. And I just glued in some tracks um, in my head. And um, I did not film that because I was all over the place with trying to, you know, glue it in and, you know, I was multitasking. So I did not get a chance to film that for you guys. Um, so yeah, so this is what the hair looks like. It just comes on a regular old track. And what I did was that I just took it, I measured it, and then I would cut it to that measurement. And I used this Salon Pro Anti-Fungus um, Hair Bonding Glue that I got from my local um, drugstore. My local, my local beauty supply store. And it was $1.49 and I just glue, put the glue onto the track like so. And then what I did was I just put it on the actual, um, I didn't put it on the scalp, but I put it on the actual hair. And then I took my blow dryer, held it down, and I dried it, okay? And then after that, was I moved on to like the next row. And I just kind of went up all the way like this. And then when I got to the front, I started to lay the tracks um, going more in a downward way so that I have more of that natural flow with my hair, okay? So the name of the hair, I think, is Sepia, Sepia Collection, S-E-P-I-A. I just ran across from it randomly at my um, hair store. And this does work with heat, so that's one of my things. So I was gonna, I was I'm going to flat iron it. And it was $15.99 for a 12 inch. And the glue that I used to put it in with is the Salon Pro Exclusive Bonding Glue. Okay, now I did not put anything in my hair. Um, I blow dried it with a little bit of um, this argan oil in it. And I also flat ironed it with some argan oil as well. I didn't want to use anything heavy on my hair because um, my hair is fine so if you put too much grease in it or oil in it, it will, you know, get kind of stiffy looking. Um, so I didn't want to put anything too heavy in it. So I did go really light. Um, and when I flat iron, now you guys see me press my hair and I use this to press my hair. And then I apply a little bit more when I flat iron my hair. Now the flat iron that I use to flat iron my hair is this flat iron right here. This is a Conair Infinity Pro. And it goes up to 30, well the dial just says 30, but I think it's about 450, if not 455 degrees. And that is perfect because my hair, you guys know, is really curly and I need a lot of heat to make it straight. But I didn't really need that much heat because I did press my hair um, beforehand. And let me tell you guys, people think that they can just take a flat iron to my hair and it's gonna be all dandy. You are wrong. You need to press my hair before you flat iron my hair. The reason why, if people are not familiar with the pressing comb or how it works, is that my roots and my ends are super curly. And a flat iron does not straighten them, it just smashes them down. So, like, imagine a curl just smash, like smash down. That's what my hair does. And it doesn't lay flat, and the root doesn't lay flat, so you have to really hit it with a pressing comb first and then flat iron my hair okay uh, I got this from my job it was about I paid like 20 something for it because I had a discount so I paid like 24 23 dollars for this and I actually like this um, this curling iron I really like this on fire it works really really well and this is really good for my type of hair so uh, what I did was I just kind of flat ironed it out just to kind of give it a little bit of a flat look um, so yeah, and that was it. Like you guys know, I don't put a lot of heat on my hair. And my hair is not like super duper like bone straight. And that's not really what I was going for because naturally my hair is not super duper bone straight. And I can't, and I don't, and I don't um, press my hair or straighten my hair at all a lot. I straighten it like once a year. So I'm not expecting my hair to be bone straight when I straighten it. It is going to have a little bit of body to it. It is going to be a little poofy because it's not used to being straight. Um, so this is just like the hairstyle I just decided to go with um, just so that my hair can kind of breathe from being in braids for about what six months if not more. 
So I was just, I'm just letting my hair kind of breathe. I'm, I'm thinking about a week. Um, I'm gonna leave this in front for a week and then I'm gonna go right back into my braids. I'm not a big fan of straight hair because personally straight hair is just too hard for me to maintain because my natural hair is so curly and my and it's just I'm just self-conscious gonna frizz up and all of that so the best thing for me to do is to just keep it in my natural texture which is curly but every so often like once a year I do like to play with it and you know see how long it's gotten compared to the last time I straightened my hair my hair has grown a heck of a lot and that just goes to show that what I am doing is working and that's why I want to continue to protect my hair and keep it in braids so yeah so that is my process of um, straightening my hair and you know this is straight it's gonna get I don't I'm not gonna put any more heat on my hair um, this is it, you know, um, I'm, cause you know, heat can damage the hair and my hair is not used, used to being um, straightened. Also, um, you can't really see it on camera. The color quite blends really well with my natural hair color. My natural hair color is more of like that sandy brown type of color. So it's really hard for me to find um, weeds or extensions that actually match my hair color. And you can't really tell unless it's like in the sun. But um, yeah, so this is my hairstyle for now. It's not super duper uber straight, but it's straight enough for my hair texture, okay? So yeah, so I'm sorry I didn't record the whole process for you guys, um, but you know, I try to record as much as possible. And yeah, so if there are any questions, leave them down below. Um, make sure to send any of your questions, comments, anything, any ideas to my email at EuniceMarie at gmail.com or EuniceMarie at gmail.com. I will leave every link down below to my Twitter, um, to my blog. Make sure you follow my blog. I will have more um, information on my hair and everything on my blog. So, yeah, um, and that is it. And, yeah, I got something in my eye. That is it. But, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.